Hello friends, welcome to Inside Text. This is a platform to learn about power transmission elements and its control system. So friends, in today's video, we are going to learn about insulation resistance measurement test for a circuit breaker. Let's see how it is done. Friends, we have made various videos on CT testing different kind of CT tests, how they are performed. Links to all these videos are mentioned in the description box below. Please see the test. We have also made various videos on transformer testing. You can check the links in description box for all different kinds of transformer testing. What are the different kinds of circuit breaker pre-commissioning tests? So, breaker CRM test, timing test, IR value test. For if the medium is SF6 gas, then we can measure the SF6 gas dew point test. And last one is dynamic contact resistance test that is also known as DCRM test. So friends, in today's video, we are going to learn about circuit breaker insulation resistance measurement test. So let us understand what is insulation resistance and how to measure the insulation resistance of any equipment. So friends, first of all, let us understand what is insulation resistance so for that uh, let us assume that this is a current carrying medium over here it can be any conductor it can be anything that is carrying a current okay it is any current carrying medium so as you can see current is flowing through this medium and between this current carrying medium and earth there has to be some resistance because of which the current will not flow directly from this current carrying medium to earth okay so there has to be some amount of resistance now this resistance can be in form of any medium it can be formed in any form of a material say suppose it can be air it can be oil it can be porcelain it can be silicon rubber sf6 gas it can be plastic it can be paper some fiber material or it can also be a vacuum so basically any medium any material which will have some amount of resistance that will not allow this current to flow from this current carrying medium or equipment to earth directly right so this can be any medium or material now how do we decide what type of medium is to be used as insulation so that depends on the voltage if it is 2 volts suppose the potential over here is only 2 volts of this current carrying medium then air is sufficient as an insulation resistance as an insulating medium okay but if suppose the voltage levels are high say it is in kilovolts okay say it is higher uh, high voltage then based on different voltage levels you can use silicon rubber vacuum sf6 gas right and also based on its application if it is suppose it is a conductor that is placed inside some instrument then we have uh, paper insulators as we know inside the transformers okay then we have oil also porcelain also so based on the voltage levels basically the insulation medium is decided and second thing is its distance from the earth what is the distance between the current carrying medium and earth that distance also decides which insulation medium we want to use okay so i think this is clear what is insulation resistance so resistance of this medium basically is called the insulation resistance and now let us see how to calculate the insulation how to measure the insulation resistance in any equipment 
over here we are having two equipments first one is the ct and the second one is the circuit breaker now let us first discuss about this current transformer the current in this current transformer path is like this okay so this is the primary and this is the secondary so there are different kinds of insulation in this ct as well the first one is the air that is surrounding this primary side to earth so you can see this there is air as insulation medium okay second is this porcelain part over here right next uh, you can see inside the winding this winding inside this ct it is covered with paper so there will be paper insulation and this entire current transformer is filled with oil this is oil filled equipment right so oil is also a uh, insulation medium it will also have insulation resistance right so we will measure all this uh, resist all this resistance of all the different kinds of insulations okay so we will measure we have to measure the uh, insulation resistance between this primary to earth okay next let us discuss about circuit breaker so in circuit breaker the current path is something like this okay so in this also there will be potential there will be voltage over here in the circuit breaker at the topmost part and at the middle part or you can say this is the bottom part of the circuit breaker so from here as there is a potential voltage over here and this is the current carrying path so from this path to the bottom of the breaker that is the earth okay we have to measure we have to measure the insulation resistance over here then there is this porcelain part for which you have to measure the resistance also uh, when the breaker is off okay when the circuit breaker is off the voltage will be there up to this topmost part of the circuit breaker so you have to measure the insulation resistance from topmost part to earth okay and whenever the circuit breaker is off this interrupter will be open okay and inside this interrupter there will be a sf6 gas filled inside so that is also one insulation medium so you have to measure the insulation resistance of that also so you will measure between the top part and this part okay so that's how you can measure insulation resistance of different equipments so this is the circuit breaker of which we are going to measure the insulation resistance to measure the insulation resistance we need a device or equipment that is called as a insulation resistance tester this is made of made from the company named as meager as you can see over here okay so it is famously known as meager itself from the name of the company so this is how it looks and with this we have this props that we will connect over here in this positive and negative terminals mentioned in this meager and we will connect this insulation tester with our test equipment that is the circuit breaker for today in this insulation resistance meter we have different kind of voltages mentioned over here so each equipment based on which equipment you are testing you will require different voltage levels so here it begins from 500 volt to 1 kV then difference range is given as 2.5 kV 5 kV and up to 10 kV different voltage ranges are given so based on what kind of equipment you are testing you can select this voltage level from here then there is this test button we will press this test button and then we will start our test okay so now let's begin this testing so we will connect the positive terminal to the top part of the circuit breaker and this negative terminal to the bottom part uh, that is earth over here okay so this will give us the ir value between top to earth for this circuit breaker okay and over here you can see this time and over here you can see the voltage range okay so we will set this 
up to 5 kV ok so now let us set it to 5 kV and then we will press on the test button and we will conduct this test for 1 you can see we have conducted it for 1 minute and we have got 80.50 giga ohms that is 80,500 mega ohms ok now let us do our next test now we will connect this red terminal to the bottom part of the circuit breaker and the black terminal will be connected to the earth so this measurement will give us the IR value between the bottom to earth so we will set it to 5 kV and again we will test this for 1 minute so after 1 minute the result is 65 giga ohms that is 65,000 mega ohms we will note down this value and now we will conduct the next test so here we have connected our terminals props to positive terminal and this is our negative terminal so this is the measurement taken between the top current carrying conduct conducting path to this bottom path ok so this is the value between top to bottom again we will set the megahertz for 5 kV and for 1 minute we will conduct this test we have 60 giga ohms over here as the result again we will note down the values now we have made a table for all the readings that we have taken so here the type of connection for we are talking for R phase it is top to earth bottom to earth and top to bottom applied voltage is 5 kV in all the three cases and these are the results that we obtain right so this is the insulation resistance measurement test for a circuit breaker in the next video we will come up with different kinds of tests for the breakers if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section below keep watching our videos thank you